Hi, Annie. I see you have a new set of wheels. Hello, Mary. Yes, I just bought this van for the business. I heard somebody say that vehicles are only a liability because it costs a lot of money to keep it on the road. Why did you buy it then? It is true that the maintenance on a vehicle can be very expensive, but a vehicle is actually classified as an asset. How do you know when something is an asset? You have already learned about IFRS. In one of those statements, they give a definition of what an asset is. First of all, an asset is a resource. What is a resource? A resource is something that is readily available and helps a person or a business to function effectively. In this case, as a resource or vehicle belongs to the business, we can safely say that the business has control over it. What does it mean to have control over the vehicle? This means that the business, or in effect, me as the owner of the business, can use it in any way I please. I can drive it anywhere, paint the vehicle, add a radio, or take it out and even sell it. Before something can be classified as an asset for accounting purposes, we have to determine if the business itself controls it. Because as owner of the business, I can do with this vehicle as I please. I have control over it. We don't stop at control though, because part of the decisions whether it is an asset also means that we need to determine if the controlled resource, in this case the vehicle, will produce any economic benefits in future for the business. Shoo, what are future economic benefits? Sounds complicated. No, not really. It is just a process that we need to go through. Most times it's straightforward and you will run through the decisions quickly. But later in your career, you will come across some grey areas where you will need to apply these criteria to help you decide how to record a transaction. Getting back to your question, a future economic benefit means that at some time in future, the business will be able to receive money as a benefit from the vehicle. Every time I use this vehicle for deliveries, the business earns money. People pay me to deliver the goods they buy from us. Not only does the business receive money for the deliveries, but if I wanted to, I could also be able to sell the vehicle in future. The vehicle will therefore be used in future to benefit the business economically, either by earning money for deliveries or by selling it. In other words, therefore there will flow future economic benefits from the vehicle. The next thing you need to determine is whether all or what we talked about now is possible because of some event that happened in the past. How long ago must it have happened to be something in the past? It does not matter if it was years ago or only seconds ago. It must just be because of an event that already happened. I bought the vehicle earlier today with money from the business and now the business has ownership. The fact that it already happened makes it a past event. If I was only planning to buy the vehicle and only took it for a test drive today, we would not have had any control over it and it would not have been the asset of the business yet. You need to have an event that already happened somewhere in the past that actually gives you the right to control it. Thanks, that makes sense. So the vehicle is an asset for accounting purposes because one, it is a resource, two, that is controlled by the business, three, because of a past event, and four, they will earn a future economic benefit. I get the picture and I need to learn to apply these four rules to all things that I think are assets before I can say that they qualify as assets for accounting purposes. Yes, Mary, I'm glad you understand. But wait, that's not all. There is one more thing for accounting. So now we have determined that the vehicle is an asset. But for accounting, we need an amount in order for us to record it. We call this recognition. For recognition, we need to determine if the item has a cost or value that can be reliably measured. With my tape measure, I can easily measure the vehicle. Measuring the value of the cost of the vehicle does not mean walking with your tape measure and determining its size. Measuring the cost of the vehicle means that you need to know what was paid for the vehicle. Measuring the value of the vehicle means determining the amount that you can sell it for today. 
We can ask a car dealership to help us determine for how much we will be able to sell the vehicle. So it should be fairly easy to get a reliable measurement of its value. This is a lot to take in, but I think I understand. That's good. Could you tell me in your own words what you understand? So basically, we can say the vehicle is a resource under the control of the business. Because you bought it earlier today, that means there was a past event. The business will be using it to earn delivery fees, which tell me that the business will continue to earn income from the vehicle in the future, or maybe even sell it. The vehicle also has a value that can easily be determined, and so I am happy to say that this vehicle is an asset of your business. Exactly.